Hello y'all, I'm here today for a comet exercising vlog. So let's go get the gorgeous golden boy. And yeah, so I'm going to ride him in my saddle today. I haven't rode him in my saddle very much. So usually I ride him in just like a lightweight abetta. I think it's an abetta. And um, usually works pretty well seems like that but this one has a back cinch which he doesn't like back cinches and it's a little farther back than the back cinch that he is used to so we're gonna see how that goes I don't know what he's gonna think of that right now I'm just gonna get his bridle and some other things that I'll need to ride him and go and catch him okay so so far our comet has been riding in this, I believe they call this a wired snaffle. Can't remember. Roped snaffle. Anyway, it's this textured snaffle. It's an o ring and it does not have a curb chain. I just have this rope tied here as a curb chain. Um, and he's riding in my pink biothame um, bridle. So. Eventually, I will want to be able to use a lighter bit. My goal will be a hackmore, actually, because so no bit. But for now, this is what's working. The trainer that had started him had him in this, so that's what we're using right now. And I do have a new bridle on the way that has that matches my saddle, so it will be a leather brown leather bridle that will match my saddle. So, um. Yeah, I have to go and pick that up soon, and I think I need some barrel racing reins, but so far I've been riding him. I have a pair of black braided leather reins that go with this that I love to ride him in. They've got the little rein sliders, so I can adjust the length, but he accidentally stepped on those, and they snapped, so I have to get those repaired. But right now I'm just riding him in just some... I like these because they're kind of longer... Okay, let me show you all. See, they're kind of longer, so I, I like the perfect length, but I do like those. So that is what he's riding in right now. I am having to bring a small riding crop with me. It's not the best thing ever. I'm not a fan, but he is being kind of stubborn about some stuff, and when he goes to act up, that just helps me to get more control because... If you just give him a little tap, he will listen, but he will, like, you'll ask him to go, and he'll start to lay his ears back and whatever, and me thumping on him and kicking him for five hours is a lot worse than me just giving him a little bit of a tap and telling him, no, that's not what we're doing, and here's what we are doing. I also like to um, bring a long line with me so that I can lunge him before I get on. We have been working on a couple things so I will show you those, but one of the things we've been working on is not having to lunge before I get on because I want him to be to where I don't have to worry about it. I can just hop on him and we can go, but with the new saddle today or a saddle he's not really used to, I'm going to lunge him first just to let him get the feel of it. All right, so now I'm going to go and grab him and get him tacked up. I know he's improving as I'm riding him, and that makes me feel better. And then he also gets on from the right side now. No problem. 
problem. I always make him stand when I get on. And then we usually do a couple back. 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 And then we're good to go. Okay, so in this next clip, I was showing my mom how I can now hop on him. And I am hopping on him a little bit rougher than I would usually um, mount a horse, but I'm doing that to desensitize him to it um, and to show my mom how we've been desensitizing him to that and how calm he is. He needs to be calm with these things because eventually I may let another rider ride on him or a first time rider and they may accidentally... Um, hit his butt when getting on, or just be a little bit more um, rough than someone who's been riding for a long time. Okay, so next we worked on small circles. I just want him to walk in small circles with his head tipped, his nose tipped to the inside, and not get his front feet or his back feet stuck. You can see he gets a little sticky in the front end when we're doing stuff like this. Um, ideally he would bend at the rib cage and walk nice circles around, but we're a work in progress. Next we did some trotting on the rails in straight lines, and then we had one of our first little canners, I think this was, since I'd got him home and he was such a good boy. So now it's time for the very exciting part of this video where I get to tell you all Joker's new name. So I was trying to come up with a name that really fit him and something that kind of had a theme to it that I could name other horses after that same theme. So with Dreamer, I was thinking, well, he's white, like clouds, dreams. That was where that came from. So I thought that was really cute. Um, but Joker is Palomino. It's a really pretty color. I was wanted something that would fit him and his personality, but that I could also have a fancy show name with. So I really liked star names, um, so I was trying to think of names around that, and I landed on Comet. So his stable name is Comet, and then his official name is Comet's Got Me Starstruck. I like that name. Um, I plan to barrel race this horse, so when I run them in the arena, they're going to say, Comet's got me starstruck. And I thought that was really cute because it goes along with the star theme, goes along with him being a competitive barrel horse, like starstruck, wild, amazed. So that's what I landed on, and I think it fits him really well. Okay, so that's about it for today. I will have more videos of Comet coming out soon. I hope you all like his new name. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Also, I do have this little funny clip of Comet to put at the end. If you guys want to see that, he snuck in the garage. This is what it looks like when gas prices are high and you park your vehicle in the garage. <laughs> Oops, did I forget to put the park on? <laughs> um, it's still moving. <laughs> the dogs don't like this. Comet, you're so cute, but you you can't stay in our garage. <laughs> Do you like that foam bed, Comet? Do you? I'm sure you do. <laughs> Are you gonna leave? There's more grass outside. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to kick him out. Yeah, I'm not sure anyone else really likes him in the garage. Comet, did you just eat something? <laughs> what did you just eat? Did you just eat the salt? That's for melting snow. Okay, outside you go.